Today we're going to do a nice relaxed makeup look together using the single Cleona eyeshadows. I have a full swatch party video using these shadows. If you want to see it, I'll link it in the description box down below. But uh, today we're actually going to put these eyeshadows on the eyes and create a look with them. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys. If it does, let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. First things first, we need to put some lip balm on. So I have the Tower 28 Pistachio Lip Gloss. We're gonna do eyes first. So for eye primer, I'm gonna take my Kaleidos Tone Activator Primer. Just gonna take a little bit on my ring finger. And I just like tap it on. And then I just get my sponge and like blend it in. It's actually a really good eye primer if you are you know, shopping on the Kaleidos website and want to pick up an eye primer while you're there. It's really good. I like it. So fun fact, I'm actually filming this again because my hard drive died, <laughs> which is devastating. But, you know, it is what it is. I can't, you can't cry over spilt milk, right? Like it'll just get you down. But the annoying thing is I actually did a whole get ready with me using my Cleona shadows. I did a look. I really loved the look. And um, halfway through uploading the video to YouTube, my hard drive just completely died and it won't, it won't live again. So I quickly ran out and got a new hard drive so that thankfully I hadn't deleted like my pre-filmed footage of my memory cards. Cause if I had, I would have had no videos for last week because this will be going up the week after or maybe this week who knows but I wouldn't have had any pre-filmed videos so I would have had to have filmed like everything again so thankfully I could just re-upload footage to my new hard drive if you can hear noises my little kitty cat's running around in here causing grief <laughs> um and yeah so I could at least get videos up for this week but oh my lord anyway it is what it is all right that's my long-winded story let's get into the look. I'm also going to use the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette that I like created in a video so that video will already be up I'll link that down below as well for you guys. Uh, I'm just going to use this today to kind of use in conjunction with the with the shadows. I'm going to start with my Refa 27 and we'll go into this shadow right here first. This is actually Nurture from the My Dream palette. Just start by working this to the outer corner and through the crease. At this stage, this is a work day, I'm filming it early in the morning. At this stage, I don't have any meetings, but you'll never know who will pop up in your calendar. So I'm still going to do what I want. Let's be real. <laughs> I'm just picking up a R103 from What's Up Beauty and I'm going to go into this shade right here, which this is a shade from Metropolis and it is a cream to powder shadow. I'm thinking in January for January's content, a lot of it's just going to be, I mean, a lot of my content is just um, like makeup looks because that's what I like to film. But I think a lot of the content in January is just going to be really like makeup look focused and like shopping my stash focused. Just really want to show all of the new makeup that I've brought into my collection some some serious love, you know? So let me know if there's any particular things that you want to see. I know you all want to see a Pat McGrath Labs series. I'm going to try my hardest to get that done. Um, I don't know what to do for the Pat McGrath Labs series though. Do I do a look for every single palette that I have? Because it would be like, it would honestly be 15... 16 days, maybe even 17 days. So like almost three weeks straight of Pat McGrath looks. And I just feel like people's attention probably couldn't, like, I feel like that'd get pretty boring. So, um, I don't know whether to do like, just picking up a ref of 14 now. I oh, know, sorry, actually I'm just picking up this little BK A504 brush and I'm going to go into invention here now. Oh, it's not called invention. I keep calling these the shadow names from my dream. This is actually aspiration from the, my dream palette though. Uh, yes, yeah, so I don't know whether to do like 10 days and just do the motherships or I don't know, put up maybe like a vote for the palettes you guys want to see. I'm not really sure. I'm really not sure what to do. I'm just working this into the outer corner. I know that most of you are just going to say, can you do 
every palette you own. So I also actually, I don't think I told you guys because I think this was, I only recently just did this, but I had to go on to Pat McGrath Labs and buy a Christmas present for someone. And so while I was there, because that present was like quite expensive. Um, and so I think I only had to spend like, I don't know, $50 or something. And I got like the extra discount and then a free palette or something. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just do that because I didn't have the palette. And so I actually bought the Ritualistic Rose Blitz Astral Quad. Um, I've, I've just been waiting this whole time because I really want Nocturnal Nevada, but I just don't know if it's ever gonna come back in stock. Anyway, um, so I got that and I got two more lip liners and I'm just going back into that second shade we used, sorry. And then um, I also got the Celestial Odyssey Quad from last year for free. So they're coming. Um, which is exciting. We'll see what I think about them. I'm just going back into Nurture from My Dream, the first shade we used. Uh, so it's a lot of pat, or like, you know, it's a lot of pat content, like three weeks in a row. That would be like the whole of January and nothing else. So I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm going to take my Pat McGrath Labs Intensify Stick. Uh, normally you don't need to do this. Well, you don't need to do this really, but, um, the shadows are super pigmented, the clear inner ones, but they do have a bit of fallout. Like they think Pat McGrath Lab special shades. That's kind of like what these shadows are. So they do have that kind of glittery fallout. So using something like the um, Pat McGrath Labs Intensify Stick is just going to help adhere the shadow and cause less glitter dropout if um, that bothers you. I don't mind it too much because I find once it's on my lids, it doesn't really go anywhere. It's just putting it on my lids. I can get the fallout, but I do my base second. So it's not too big of a deal for me, but just keep that in mind. I think I'm going to do um, saffron today. I desperately want to use the greens, but I've been doing so many green looks. So I'm trying to <laughs> mix it up. This is a Refa 28, by the way. I'm just going to press this. And you just want to press these onto the lid. It will help minimize that fallout again for you. And this is amazing. Wow. That's really pretty. Now, if this eye look is looking too dark for you guys, don't go in with that last deepening matte that I used or even just stick with the initial transition shade and it will soften this look completely. I do like to deepen my mattes up quite a bit normally just because it helps create the illusion that I don't have such hooded eyes, but it is honestly completely up to you. Wow, this shadow is just amazing. It really feels like, honestly, these are just Pat McGrath Love special shades. That's kind of how it feels. These are glorious. I'm going to take one of these white, white shifty shades over the top. This is Spectrum. So I'm going to take Spectrum. I held that up like you could read it. I'm just going to take it on the other side of the Refer 28. I'm going to tap that. And this is like... Um, VR Fire Opal from Bronze Seduction, this Spectrum shade. It's really pretty. I'm just going to tap this. I just want to add some extra dimension because why not? See that? Changes the whole look. See? Gorgeous. You definitely get more fallout with the white shades than you do with the colored shades as an FYI. We're going to leave the eyes there and let's move on to face makeup. So primer today, I'm going to the primer I'm going to use today is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. Just taking this on a Fenty Beauty foundation brush. I don't mind this primer. It's, it's, a lot of people really rave about this primer and I don't find it does too much. If I'm honest, I really don't. Uh, but you know, each to their own. There's probably primers that I rave about that other people like, ew. <laughs> foundation, I'm going to take the Ambient Hourglass Foundation. This is in the shade 3. It looks crazy light for me. Crazy light for me. But by the time I've done the rest of my makeup, it all comes together. So don't panic. But I am going to mix in a little bit of this Fenty Beauty Easy Droplet All Over Glow Enhancer. It's in Taffy Topaz because this is quite matte. And I would like just a little bit more glow. So I've just like mixed it, mixed it up. And I'll just do this. See how light it looks? Don't panic. Trust me. Everybody stay calm. This is an Artiste. I think it's Oval 10. Oh, I meant to put my green color corrector on. Oh, well. 
Here we are. I'm just going to start with a light layer and then build up because this gets quite full coverage quite quickly and it can get if you're not careful just a touch cakey maybe it's not necessarily that it's too light for me more so that it seems too much like of a warm undertone and not like proper neutral you know like that's yellow that's not a neutral undertone but Anyway, it does, it does work out in the end. I'm gonna leave that there with the foundation and I'm gonna take my NARS Radiant Creamy, no, this isn't, this is the Soft Matte Concealer in vanilla. And I'm just going to spot conceal a little bit with this. I just don't want the foundation to be too heavy is all. What is disappointing about losing all my footage is that I had been doing um, two, like a month trial of the LED current body face mask which by the way they gave me a discount code so I'll pop that in the description box along with all the products I'm using but the discount code actually I think it's just Martina but it'll be in the description box if you're interested yeah I lost all the footage of like when I first started luckily I can at least go back to the YouTube video that I filmed on the same day that I filmed like you know originally doing like the first mask try and all that kind of stuff so I can at least do like from when I very first started to the end but yeah I lost all my check-ins and stuff which is kind of annoying but anyway you know again you can't cry over spilt milk but I really do notice a difference like my redness kind of goes down and um I've noticed that even the pigmentation out here has gotten less since just using it. It's only been two weeks, so that's kind of cool. Color corrector, I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown Stick in Light Bisque. I'll just tap that out with a little BH Cosmetics brush. Concealer, I'm gonna take my KVD Good Apple. I have the shade Triple One and One Two Two, and they mix together to be quite nice. I think this foundation is just too matte for me. Probably looks all right in ca on camera. This is 4K, so you know you're gonna get the real deal, but the lighting and everything, but it just looks a little bit dry around here. So we'll see. It's not my fave fave. We're coming up to that time of year where I need to start, like, I need to actually sit down today and like plan out my content for the rest of December. Today's like the 6th or something or the 5th or something. Um, something like that. Around those dates. Uh, yeah, so I need to like plan out my content for the rest of the month because I'm not really much of a planner, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, this is a BK A506 brush, by the way. Uh, and I need to like have a look because, you know, we're coming up to the year of like best makeup of 2022. I need to, I like to do a ranking all the palettes that I tried in 2020 or the year video kind of thing. So I need to have a look at like, it's hard to remember, like I've got to go all the way back to January and be like, what palettes did you try then? And then rank them and then... You know, just all of the, I've got a whole year's worth of makeup empties and skincare empties. I haven't really done, I think I did maybe one empties video maybe at the start of the year, but I think that was for all 2021 20, makeup and stuff. Um, so I'm going to do like all of the makeup that I used in 2022 and all of the skincare and stuff that I used in 2022. But I'm not sure if I'll do that this month or if I'll do it in January, but I, I probably will do it this month to be fair. Um, so yeah, and then there's like New Year's Eve looks and holiday looks and <sighs> lots of content. I want to do a like other things outside of just like a things I've been loving in 2022. So not just makeup, but like, you know, a, a separate video for like skincare and hair care and like household things and stuff. So I want to do that. Lots of video ideas. I've got lots of video ideas. So, I need to get cracking. I just need to be a little bit more organized for this time of year, you know? For cream contour today, I'm going to use the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush in Nutcracker. I really quite like this. I really, really do. I do prefer to blend it out with a sponge. I think it works a lot nicer with a sponge than a brush for me personally. And I prefer to do it in sections, but see how it's just cast a little shadow there? I quite like it. You don't need a lot either, by the way. You just need a teensy amount. And it just blends like so seamlessly into the skin. I reckon you could honestly wear this with like no makeup on your face either as well. And it would just like blend. I'm going to do, I saw um, Alex Anil do this the other day. And I was like, this is exactly right. I'm like, I don't like these little fat bits here. And she kind of just puts them right here. So I'm going to do that and we'll see. It'll either look really good or really bad, so we'll see. 
I feel like that was all right. I'm not gonna put any on my forehead because my forehead is large, but I find bronze is gonna work better. And also I'm gonna put my hair topper on, so my fringe is gonna cover it, you know? For under eye powder, I'm gonna take my Westman Atelier uh, Vital Pressed Skincare Powder in the shade Bubble or Pink Bubble. You're not supposed to, like she doesn't recommend using this on your under eyes, but for some reason this formula works quite lovely on my under eyes. Probably because it's quite hydrating. I'm so close to hitting pan on this powder actually, which I definitely am, I'm gonna do in January, I think another like makeup I wanna use up video and like focus on those products and this will be in it because this was like 135 Australian dollars, this tiny little powder. And so I will, I wanna use the whole thing up and it has a 12 month expiry and I have a feeling cause it's clean beauty, it will really hold that expiry. That's the thing about Clean Beauty is um, because it doesn't have preservatives in it to extend the shelf time, it will like expire quicker, which is fine, but you just need to be mindful. For the rest of the face, I'm gonna take the Vive Modern Powder Perfector in the shade Light. Clearly, I like this. Actually, I need to do a full face of Vive too. You guys asked for that. Damn. Okay, I need to write these down. <laughs> just taking my powder puff. It's summer here. It's supposed to be over 35 degrees Celsius today. Uh, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit for you. It's hot. So I need to be pressing and setting my face because all my makeup will melt off. I'm just gonna quickly go off camera and do my brows and then we'll be right back and we'll finish the rest of the face. So two seconds. Brows are on, let's go ahead and bronze. I'm gonna take my Nabla Skin Bronzing Powder today in the shade Ambra. I'm just gonna bronze up my face cause it clearly needs it. Me and my mum went uh, Christmas shopping on the weekend, like Christmas decoration shopping, because I had my tree up and everything, but I just, it was missing a little something and I didn't feel like, I don't know, I really wanted the house to feel really Christmassy this year because last year didn't really feel like Christmas. It felt like it went by in a real blur and I just really wanted to like soak it up this year. So we went to this Christmas shop and it was glorious, but my Lord, was it expensive. So I was like, oh, I'll just get a few decorations that were like reasonably priced. And then I went to like TK Maxx afterwards and oh, like all the same stuff, but for like a quarter of the price, which was amazing. And I just went nuts. I got like a Christmas blanket, a Christmas mug. I got some Christmas like little like toy things to like put under the tree. I got some more decorations. It was so good. I got a candy cane candle. It was just glorious. I just had such a good time. So now the house is looking really festive. The tree is up. I feel very happy about it. The Christmas season has started. I need to wrap my Christmas presents now so I can put them under the tree because that's when it really feels like Christmas for me is when I've wrapped my presents and put them under the tree. I'm actually not going to put any liquid products on today for highlight or blush, which I know is very rare for me, but it is what it is for today. I'm going to take this uh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk face powder. We're going to take the highlight in here. This is just a BH Cosmetics Rose Quartz tapered brush and I'm just going to use this to highlight so pretty I really like this palette I didn't think I wasn't gonna pick it up I'm not gonna lie I really wasn't gonna pick this up and then I just I got FOMO with the packaging and I picked it up but it's so beautiful I really love it I'm gonna dip into this blush shade this is a uh, rougher number five that I'm taking it on I think it's, I could leave this blush shade to be fair, but these three right here, I mean, I do like it. Don't get me wrong. I just don't wear bright pink. I, I really gravitate towards this shade. It's just such a, like, I don't know what blush to put on, what, should, what will go with this look. It'll kind of go with everything. And I just, I just really love it. I love how buildable it is. It's just fantastic. This foundation and primer is not bad, but it just does not make my skin look as good as it can. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Lower lash line. We'll just take this shade right here, which is Nurture from the My Dream palette. You do not need to have these shades, by the way. I'm sure you have something quite similar in your collection. And if you have Pat McGrath Labs Motherships, you could, honestly, if you had bronze seduction, you could recreate this look. You could use the red sparkly shade first and then tap VR Fire Opal over the top. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna take this one for the inner corner. So the shade Aura. I'm gonna take the shade Aura for inner corner. And it's just like a, a pinky shift, which is cool. I might actually just swoop some of that up to add that into the mix there. 
Oh, that's cool. Can you say that? I like that. That's really nice. Okay, let me quickly go off camera and do mascara and eyeliner. I'll tell you what I use when I come back and we'll do lips and then we're nearly finished, so two seconds. For mascara, I use the Tower 28 mascara and then I just put the Melt Olive uh, waterline pencil in my lower lash line. I didn't put any eyeliner on my top lash line today though. Now for lips, I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath Labs contour lip liner. I'm gonna take Nude Romantique 2 from Pat McGrath as well. This is a Satin Allure. I will just take a bit of Luna Beauty Moon and pop this over the top. I'm gonna go put my hair on and we will be right back. This is the finished makeup look. What do you guys think? I really like it. I love the way that it's turned out. Each one of these shades are just like Pat McGrath Lab special shades. They're stunning, absolutely stunning. Uh, if you wanted to make this look a little bit more toned down for your preferences, just don't go in with such deep of mattes and maybe not such a bright inner corner. And I think you'll find that it's a lot more of an everyday wearable look, depending on your preferences. I mean, I would wear this to work, but everyone's different and that's completely understandable. Uh, what do you guys think? Are you eyeing some clear inner shadows now? What do you think of the look? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. I truly, truly appreciate you. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye!